Hi, this is Carrie Rhodes from CarrieStamps.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I wanted to share with you the new pillow box die from our holiday catalog. And in that holiday catalog, we have a die that makes a standard size pillow box. And today I wanted to show you that you can use that die to make an extended box like these. So that's what I'm going to show you today. The pillow box die set looks like this and it's designed to work for um, the holiday season Christmas Halloween Thanksgiving fall winter and this is the the biggest die right here is the one you use to um, make the box so to make the standard box you would die cut two pieces of paper with this die and you glue them together here and fold it up it's really simple I didn't use um, any adhesive on the ends because of the how it folds. It really hooks together nice. So it really opens at both ends. Like that. All right, so now let me show you how to make an extended box. So if you have a big treat, then you'll have a big box to put it in. So using this same die, we're going to die cut four pieces. And to die cut your four pieces, it's going to take one piece of your 12 by 12 paper. So make sure this person that's getting the box is pretty special. All right, so we're going to start by gluing these two pieces together. I like to use my green glue, which is really Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue. And I'm going to put adhesive on the part that normally is the opening of the box. And then I'm going to overlap my box just so those two sections where you would normally have what would normally be the opener and closer part of the box, those parts are now glued together. Okay, and that's it would be pretty hard to get this one, the other two exactly the same, which is what we need. So in order to do that, I'm going to lay this one on here, add my glue to the little section here, and you want to get right into these corners. I like that now I'm not um, adding more glue, I'm just pushing it with the tip. And then, so I have two pieces that are identical. I'm going to line this one up with the one I already did. So then I know they're going to be the same. And because I'm using the green glue, I'm able to wiggle that around and make sure that it actually is lined up. Then if you get a little glue in the wrong spot, you can wipe it off with your finger and have a baby wipe handy for such problems. All right, then we need to glue these two pieces together. So with um, a normal pillow box die, if you're only using one side, you're going to glue the two together on the flaps. So we're just going to do the same thing and glue the two together on the flaps. So follow the score line that's there for you. might be hard to see on this patterned paper and in a video, but I can see the flap because there's a scored line there. So now we glue these two together. lining that up with the score line and pressing it into place like so and now we want to make it into the box so we'll fold on the second flaps and make sure you give this just a minute to dry and then we're going to fold there if I was not making a video, I might give that a little bit more time. And then we'll go ahead and glue it here. Like I said, you want to push that glue into those corners. Helps your box have a more finished look. And then this way you can just seal that right with the edge of the paper. Okay, mostly to the edge is fine. All right, then this box opens like this. And 
you're going to gently find those scored lines and pinch along that scored line so you get that curve. Okay, so there we have our extended pillow box. But we don't like this to just show, so we're going to use a belly band there. So my belly band is just a one and a half inch piece of designer paper. And the paper that I'm using for this box is called Happy Haunting. It is from the Holiday Mini Catalog, which goes live September 1st. And it covers up, the one and a half inch covers this up beautifully. You might be able to get it away with an inch. And we'll glue it to the back. Same way. Give it a little pinch on the edge of the box. And then we'll glue this piece down. And I like to make sure it lines up with that one exactly. All right. Then we're going to make it cute. So you can see here how the corners pucker if you don't get the glue all the way to that corner. So then you might have to try to doctor it up a little bit. All right. To decorate this box, I am going to use one of our spiderweb doilies, also brand new from the holiday catalog. I was so excited when I saw these. I think they're so much fun. So I'm going to just add some dots of glue to these solid spots, and that will be enough to hold it on there. So cute. Give that a little love for a minute. Okay. And then I'm going to make um, a centerpiece there. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to stamp um, an image from the Howl O Ween treat set, treat stamp set. I'm going to use um, the trick or treat there. I'm going to stamp it with the new archival basic black pad. So this is a brand new pad. Like I said, it's archival, so it's going to be. Um, safe for all your projects. It's going to stay black. It's a very black pad. It dries quickly. You can stamp on non-porous surfaces and I am loving this new pad. So you can also get this from the holiday catalog as of September 1st. Mine already has glue on it. All right, then I'm going to die cut that using a die from the pillow box set. This um, little square fits here just perfectly. So you'd run that through your Big Shot and cut it out like I've done here. See how it just fits on there, just fits, cuts a tiny bit off. And I'm gonna give it a little distressed look by just running my smoky slate pad around the edges, like so. And that's one of my center pieces. The other one, I'm gonna stamp the little spider from the same stamp set and I'm using um, Rich Razzleberry for the spider. I love purple spiders and purple for Halloween. We don't need to worry about that extra line that I got because we can die cut that with the matching framelits to this Halloween stamp set called Boo To You. It's got a little framelit here that cuts out this spider exactly. Okay, so then we'll have this guy. Okay. All right, so let's put all this together now. This one's trick or treat's going to go on, if I can pick it up, with some dimensionals on the back. These are just foam dots that have adhesive on both sides, so it gives it a dimensional look. But I got a little scrap of paper on here. Okay. Then you peel the backing off and it's sticky on both sides. You put that right in the middle. And then I could add my spider right here. But I have another one already done because I added a little of my Dazzling Details glitter glue to his body and gave it a little bit of um, glitter shimmer there. And I love to use the glitter glue on Let's see, I'm not going to stick him to that. I'm going to stick him here. On the purple because it um, soaks up a little bit of the ink and then it makes like a lighter spot on him. 
So that's my double pillow box. I'll bring back in my other ones. This one is the polka dot paper and I added some splattering to it. And I put the spider over the eye. I love that. And then the just different colors. I just used of the same designer series paper and had fun with them. So you can get the dies I used today, the pillow box dies, the boo to you dies, as well as the Halloween treat set at my online store. You can find a link in the top right corner of my blog, carriestamps.com. Thanks for watching.